Um, I just wanted to take five minutes to provide everyone a quick update on the unified terrain effort. Um, this is related to the RTMA. Um, as a part of the National Blend of Models project, there's been an ongoing effort over the last year or so to unify the terrain that's used by the RTMA, uh, the National Blend of Models, and AWIPS GFE. Um, Brian Moretsky has been leading this effort. Brian's at Eastern Region SSD. Uh, we've put together a couple of slides, and he's going to run through this real quickly on kind of an update on where things stand. So Brian, take it away. Thanks, Dave. Uh, so you can go to the next slide, Amy. Uh, just a brief outline of what I'm going to show, and you can go to the next slide. So what's the unified terrain to remind everybody? Uh, currently, uh, AWIPS and uh, the RTMA IRMA and associated uh, two and a half kilometer blend components are not using the same terrain or land water mass for that matter. Um, both data sets uh, have been edited slightly over the years, and so we're, we're not on we're not operating on the same with the same picture. Uh, so this vision was to implement a, a common data set to help eliminate some downstream differences that uh, were related to these terrain differences. Uh, as a result, uh, recently in the last couple of years, we picked uh, a common data set to replace the older existing data sets. And uh, the first step there is uh, with the RTMA and IRMA upgrade this summer and blend components, and they get updated as well, uh, that that will be part of those anal those uh, systems, the, the new terrain. Uh, then uh, it, this that was going to be coming in the past, but it just recently uh, it got pushed off, and so it will be this summer. Uh, then in uh, AWIPS GFE, we have tools and instructions to compare the old and new terrain, and that's available in AWIPS Build 1621, which is coming to offices uh, in the next little while over the next couple months. So the next slide. So implementation. Uh, as I said, it's coming in AWIPS GFE. Uh, we're really going to need some sort of coordination on this. It does, the, the way the tools are, are written is it allows the offices to go in and, and make edits and suggest edits as, as they feel are needed. Uh, in the past, there have been a few offices that had edited their terrain, and I'll show an example in a little bit. Uh, but there may be some more offices who feel like uh, with this opportunity they want to edit it. But we want to do this, uh, again, in a coordinated fashion. And once the, AWIP, once the edits are complete, the AWIPS program will collect it, pass it back to the blend developers, and then we will all be unified as, as a, a part of the next upgrade of the RTMA IRMA and the blend. So we'll all be using the same terrain. You can go to the next slide. Uh, and the next slide. This is an example from uh, Missoula office who did some testing and they took a screenshot here, and what we're looking at is their edits of the old of the old terrain that was in AWIPS GFE. Uh, you can see that they had made some significant edits uh, along highways or passes or in other areas, uh, not over their whole CWA, but uh, I see one point, for example, that they had changed the elevation by 3,000 feet. So that's not a significant. That's not a small edit. You can go to the next slide. And this is what uh, the newer terrain looks like as compared to the older terrain. Uh, this is the older terrain without the edits from uh, Missoula. And you can just see that there are areas where there are differences, and I've compared this. And I mean, generally, the, the differences align with some of uh, Missoula's differences uh, that they thought were, were needed when they edited the terrain. But Again, there are some differences uh, that are introduced as a result of this newer data set. Uh, and you can go to the next slide, and then the next slide after that. And here's an example from Boston, uh, who did also did some testing with this. And what you see there in the middle is they made an edit just to show what it would look like when you uh, use the, the tool. And there they made a big uh, addition of 150 feet or something like that. And uh, that's what it looks like uh, if you were to do that. 
Okay, so the next slide. Okay, so that, where that leaves us. Uh, again, we want to make sure that, you know, the point of this was to get to a, a unified terrain. The way it uh, set up and the way it uh, kind of came through over the last uh, two years is that uh, we are allowing for edits at the uh, local WFO level. Uh, we want them to pass us back some feedback on the terrain. Remembering that this is a, a fairly high resolution data set, but it's a scale to two and a half kilometers. And if for some reason or another, uh, an office feels like uh, a point is not representative, they may want to, uh, to edit that. And so again, we need to, we've got instructions, but uh, we'll send those out. I think uh, Dave Myrick uh, will be the, the point for it in terms of sending it out and collaborating with the SSDs uh, on this and working to make sure that any edits are well collaborated. Uh, land water mask, uh, this was also updated as part of this unified terrain component. Uh, we want to make sure that the offices are comfortable with their marine zones and also inland water bodies, which in the weather service we don't really deal with, uh, but they're there and they affect how the analysis uh, and the blend, it, uh, they affect the results of those two. So we want to uh, make sure that the offices are comfortable there as well. And then the final thing is uh, addressing uh, some point and click issues in terms of how that matches. So when uh, a user goes in and clicks on a forecast, what do they think the elevation is or what are they being told the elevation is and what are they being told the, if it's a land or water point. Now that might be it. Is there any other slides? I think that might be it. But uh, So that's where we stand right now and uh, we're you know, offices are going to be getting 16.21 here over the next couple months, rollout ends, I think, in July. So we want to be set up to uh, have the offices knowledgeable about this process and uh, some sort of regional uh, focal point or collaboration to uh, make sure that all the edits are well collaborated. And, and if Dave has anything else, he can add to it. No, I just want to thank you, Brian, for all your help with this. Um, we wanted to raise the awareness of the SSDs of where this effort was at. Um, watch for some email communication from us um, as we pull this effort together. Um, we're going to need some help from the regions to manage this. Um, and that's all we had.